Welcome to Film Ride Mondays. I'm wearing the same shirt again. <laughs> I, just, I realized that this is going to be like five episodes of me wearing this exact same shirt. Yes. We shot the episodes back to back. And I don't know why I didn't just bring multiple shirts. Because now it just looks like I only have one shirt. At least it's not my Jurassic Park shirt. That's an upside. Glass half full. Ass half full. <laughs> <laughs> Is there anything you did wrong for a longer time before you noticed your mistakes or someone showed you how to do it right? That's a hard question to answer because the answer is everything. Literally everything I've ever done sucked the first time I did it. And it was just the process of doing it over and over again to figure it out or someone helping me out with that. Um, exposure was definitely a huge one for some of the more practical things, but definitely direction, how to talk to actors, uh, all of that is very trial and error. There isn't anything that I ever did the first time I was like, hey, I'm really good at that ever, ever, ever. And I'm still always getting better and trying to learn and helping people, uh, having people help me like figure out where my weaknesses are and build on those because they are abound. Uh, there's, I don't think you'll ever stop learning and I have tons to learn. So the answer to your question is everything and I'm still doing it. When writing, do you usually write characters or plot first? For me, it's usually plot first. I think I've only written character first maybe once. Um, I'm more plot driven, I'm more about what's happening, what's the experience I want to give to my audience, and then everything feeds into that. Uh, I know there are a lot of people that are very different than that. I don't think there's a right or wrong to it. I just think you need to figure out what type of filmmaker you are and then follow that. Be true to the type of creative you are. Don't try to pigeonhole yourself into somebody else's process. That was definitely my problem for a long time. Um, I had no confidence and I, you know, I, I felt looked down upon by doing it certain ways that worked for me until I found out there are a lot of people who do it that way and there's no one set way to do almost anything in any creative field. So make sure you're just trying a ton of things and finding the process that really works for the type of filmmaker you are and not feeling like you have to follow what some other filmmaker does. Have you ever had to hire SAG actors before? If so, what has been your experience and is it worth the extra hassle? We just had Graham and Hannah in Ghost House, both are SAG actors, so yes, we have, there are some more hoops that you have to go through, paperwork that has to be done. Uh, so there is that little bit of extra hassle and work that you have to do, but it's really not too bad. It's just time consuming. Um, but a lot of great actors are SAG. Most very experienced working in the industry actors are in a union of some kind. So you're gonna have to deal with that sooner or later. Uh, for me, it's not SAG or not, it's who do I want for this project? and then I go for that. If they happen to be SAG, great. We'll go through those hoops because they're right for this thing. If they're not, awesome. Between Chainsaw and Ghost House, which was your favorite to film? I had a blast on both for different reasons, for sure. Uh, Chainsaw was more action and that's always fun uh, to do and a lot more comedically driven in a lot of ways. It was a lot more punctuated with the comedy, so it was a lot uh, more fun in that sort of realm. But Ghost House is very much the type of movie I wanna make. If you take out the comedy, the serious version of that movie is definitely one that I desperately wanna make. I love ghost films like Fright Night and Hell House, Legend of Hell House, House on Haunted Hill, The Haunting, uh, all those old ghost house type movies I absolutely adore and I would love to make that movie. So it was really fun to be able to have little small pockets that were kind of that film to play with. I've been out of film school for a year, now stuck doing solo freelance gigs to pay the bills. How do you recommend someone in my situation to break into more creative space where I can work with the team and more importantly, get salaried? Getting a salary gig is kind of difficult. I mean, getting into a creative space, you just do it. You find time, you get a team together and you start working on passion projects and that slowly but surely builds to bigger and bigger usually. Um, but as far as getting a salary job, I mean, that's tougher. I can only tell you what I did for me. I just got a reel together, I got my resume together, and then I packaged that and I sent it to literally over 150 companies, maybe like 200 companies. It took me days to do, and it wasn't spam. It was directed towards each company individually while I wanted to work for them. I found companies that I actually would be stoked to work for, and then I sent them personalized email, every single one. I didn't copy paste it. That's the worst thing that you could do because uh, people can see right through that stuff. And then literally one got back to me and I got my job. So that's really the only advice I can give to you on that is how I did it. Um, 
other than that, you know, get, get started on some passion projects for sure. Last question. Hey, Film Right, huge fan of your work. Was wondering what physical environment you would prefer to be in while writing. I actually write best at night. Uh, often some of the most writing that I've gotten done is sitting in bed with my wife and kid totally asleep and it's like two in the morning and I'm just writing away. Uh, I do really well with that for whatever reason. I don't love being away from my family. I hate it but also being in the same space as them is very distracting. So in those moments, my family's there with me, but they're totally not distracting me. So I get a lot done and I feel like I operate better at night. So does Josh. Don't know why, kind of wish I could flip it and operate better in the morning, but I'm useless in the morning for a few hours. Uh, so that is usually the best space for me actually to uh, get my writing done, but it kind of fluctuates depending on what I'm writing. There's nothing more discouraging than having a pile of overdue paperwork just sitting there staring at you while you're trying to do work or anything that you enjoy at all. Well now, our friends at FreshBooks have just launched an all new version of their cloud accounting software that will give you more time to do the work that you love and not feel discouraged by the paperwork demon. FreshBooks has been redesigned from the ground up and custom built for the way that you work. It's the easiest way to be more productive, organized, most importantly, get paid quickly. The all new FreshBooks is not only ridiculously easy to use, it's also packed full of powerful features like creating and sending professional looking invoices in less than 30 seconds, setting up online payments in just a couple of clicks and getting paid up to four days faster. See when your client has seen your invoice and put an end to the guessing games. And right now FreshBooks is offering a free 30 day unrestricted trial to film writers. To claim it, just go to freshbooks.com forward slash film and enter film in the how did you hear about us section. Logo. So that's it for today, which means it's time for my suggestion of the week. This one comes from Steve Yedlin. It's a really interesting look at a film to Alexa comparison where he's not asking you to figure out which one's film, which one's Alexa, but he's talking about the process that he uses to get the look he wants in any camera and that it's not about the camera, but it's about the person who's using it and the process that they go through to get the image that they want. It's really interesting. So definitely check that out in the links below. There's two links for you to check out. And until next week, don't forget to write, shoot, edit, repeat. Thank <laughs> you.